Hi, welcome to another episode of the Inside Windows Phone Show. Um, today we have the Blend team showing us some really cool stuff they're building. Um, Uni, why don't you introduce yourself? Sure, uh, I'm Uni Ravindranathan. I'm, I'm a program manager on the Expression Blend team. And with me today we have uh, Billy Chow, who's our UX designer. So what we're going to show today is um, you know, how, to, how Blend helps you build standards-based user experience on the Windows phone. So one of the challenges with the Civilite platform on the phone is that you know, it's, it's, it, it can get a little tricky in the sense that you, know, you, could, you could do whatever you want to do as far as the user experience goes. So we're going to actually show how Blend helps in that, in that aspect. But I mean, we have user experience guidelines. Right. So it's not, I mean, you can do anything, but we have some pretty prescriptive guidelines. Right. Um, we, know, we publish PSDs, PDFs, yep. and all kinds of stuff. Yep. Um, so how do you bring something new into that? Yeah, so, so the Windows Phone team actually has a Photoshop file and a PDF document and stuff like that, which, which, which you could actually read and try to make sense of. Mm -hmm. But how many people actually adhere to that? And you know, it's very easy to deviate from some of those guidelines because there is no strict enforcement that the tools or the platform makes to actually adhere to those guidelines. So you know, some of the stuff you're doing actually will help you enforce those guidelines in your application. OK, so maybe you can show us what you have so people can. So just to give a quick background, I want to. Uh, so these are the documentations that you guys are, were referring to, the uh, guidelines, the UI guidelines from the Windows Phone team. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also provide a, a set of uh, PSD templates that designers and developers can use as guidelines. And uh, they look something like this. Yep. Uh, so this is a PSD file. And you can see all the red lines are noted here. Yep. And, um, but there is an Azamo um, version of this uh, template. So what the Blend team did, is we took uh, the most common co uh, controls uh, UI that we thought it was, uh, would be commonly used, and then we converted those into Xaml. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so I mean, one of the challenges with, uh, with, 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 with the PSD file is that some of the controls don't even exist in Civilite today, right? So for example, yep. there's the toggle switch, or even like things like text box and its label. How much spacing should you have between the labels yep. and the text? What should be the padding? Things like that are just hard to read and interpret, and everybody could have their own version of, of these things, yeah, right? I spent a lot of time doing the red line, so you don't have to convince me that it's, you know, it's tedious work. It can be done, and we've done a good job of documenting it, mm -hmm. but it's tedious work. Mm -hmm. um, Billy, can you show us the app that you guys have? Yeah, so let's go ahead and launch. We actually uh, made this into a, a Windows Phone 7 app. Uh, so once you click on it, um, we get uh, we um, divided the sections into buttons, checkboxes, list view, toggle switch, dialog boxes, etc. So uh, the user can come here and say uh, toggle through each template hmm. uh, just by um, clicking on the pivot control menu. So um, and uh, if you go back, say you want to take a look at different list uh, uh, views. Um, sure. So this would be great if I want to build an experience, I can walk through and say, hey, which one is the one I want? Find the one that matches right. the one that I'm after. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then once I've matched it here, um, I can go back to the sample. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, there are several challenges that, that you actually encounter when you build something like this. For example, themes, right? You have the dark theme and the light theme. There are different colors that you can actually have on the phone. Even things like margin and padding, there are different ways that these things can combine. So for example, the pivot control automatically adds a padding. The, the, the panorama control probably does not. And all these things are very hard to enforce to make sure that your layout looks good in vertical versus hori or horizontal orientation mode. So we have, made, we, have, we have actually taken care to make sure that the same layout works across different modes, across different themes, and so on and so forth. And Billy's going to actually show you some of these things. So uh, the project itself uh, has all the pages here. Um, so this is going to be shipped as a project. And what the user uh, can do is say, uh, say um, he, wants to create, he or she wants to create an uh, uh, application with a couple of command buttons. So under my Pages folder, I go in here, double-click on it, and... And you can already see that. The, like, can you actually change the orientation of this yeah. page just to show um, you know, you can see like how the text is automatically wrapping and how the padding is set up and all of this is, you have tried to adhere to the phone guidelines as much as possible. Yep. And of course, if people actually come point out some inconsistencies, we can uh, change stuff here and we can all like benefit from the changes that we are, we are making and testing. So uh, the next step would be for the user to actually uh, go to the correct uh, page that they want to copy. Say uh, this is the primary, uh, the command button. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to expand the button itself and copy the grid. Um, after you copy the grid, 
Let's go to a new instance of Blend. Actually, can, can, let's use the same project for... Okay. Just so add a new page and... So a new page uh -huh. and say uh, Windows Phone Pivot page. And what the user has to do is um, delete the current grid and paste it into your new pivot hmm. item. It's as simple as that. And you can see, like, you know, even all the alignment and everything is taken care of for yep. you. So the left edge of the button actually aligns with the eye from the pivot header and so on and so yep. forth. So you give them the templates, copy and paste from there, and you're ready to go. Right. You so can obviously start. And then, of course, you can just, like, go and start, start setting properties. Yep. But can you actually show this thing running in the, on, the, on the light theme? On sure. A, just so if you change the light theme, all the resources are going to be picked up, and then um, it's also supported a different landscape. Yeah, we have to make sure that we've tested this on different themes. The mouse pressed looks the same, or the, or the touch looks the same, and so on and so forth. You know, animations are consistent. Yeah. So uh, just to, to do another one, let's do the um, toggle button control. That's something that it's not even um, in the platform right now. Yep, we don't have the template. So there's a toggle switch. Nice. So the user, all he has to do is copy here. And let's go to the page that they want to paste it. Oops. This one. And, and then here it is. Hmm. And you can add on or edit as you want. So you can just select what you want to delete. Um, yep. You want to edit the text. And it's as simple as clicking in. Yeah, of course, the idea is that you'll data bind some of these things. It could be used yeah. inside item mm -hmm. templates. From there on, it's regular SAML. You just right. literally got to start it. You can make this into controls. It. Everything, everything just applies. And there is also a page that displays uh, all the different um, um, layouts. This is in the uh, Windows Phone 7 design templates. And the user can also copy directly from here and paste it into their application. Yeah, so this is like our XAML version of the PSD file that we just saw before. Yep. Everything that we just saw is, is present in the form of like a big, big giant XAML tree that you can cut and paste out of into your application. Yep. Now, does this come with Blend? What's the story here? How do we get it? I think uh, our goal is to, is, uh, so there are two, way, two ways we're going to distribute this. We're going to actually make this application available in the, on the, in the marketplace so that people can download it and just see how, how it looks and feels and play with the interactions. Yep. We're also going to make the project itself available via our blog so people yep. can download con and, the content. And, and we'll have a link from this video that we post. Yes. So, um, yes. But, and then eventually, it should make it into Blend. Is that the expectation? Yeah, I mean, we'd like to actually we have some ideas on how we can make it easier for users to build standards-based UI. So we're going to actually do some work there. But to start with, as soon as uh, we, we actually release Expression Blend 4 for phone, we're going to make it such that out of the box, you actually you can just download this project, open it up in Blend, and start copying and pasting content as you want. Well, great. Um, this is really, <laughs> I wish I had it a month ago. <laughs> this is really going to save us a lot of time. Um, mm -hmm. you know, you have it. SAML templates from that meet the UX guidelines. Um, this should be pretty, you know, pretty popular amongst our developers. Yep. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Thank all you. Right. Thank you.